Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from March 16th, the week of March 16th. March 16th. Okay. <laughs> How are y'all? How's everybody? Good? I hope so. Anyway, um, thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments, subscribes to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Um, else? Um, I guess I'll save the announcements to the end. Okay, so Gemini, Gemini, maybe somebody lying to you, Gemini. Ooh, no, 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 no. Let's see, Gemini. Let's see what shells you have. Let's see what's going on. Wait. Okay. All right. Ooh. So you have mom. Some of you are mom or you're thinking about your mom. Then you have I miss you. Maybe some of your moms are passed away or far away. They miss you or you miss them. Um, abundance. Very nice. Then you have run, leave. And then you have lies. Then I said Jim lie. I got lies. Okay. Divorce. Jeez Louise, Gemini. And mental issues. Okay. All right, um, those are pretty self-explanatory, right? <laughs> Let's jump into the cards and see what's really going on. Someone may be divorcing because someone has mental issues or and it, they deal with the issues maybe with um, some toxic behavior, like they could drink, they could smoke, they could do drugs or, or just, you know, they just are, uh, they're not well. And we don't want to hold that against them to the point where we, we don't like them or we don't care for them. But we do want them to take personal personal responsibility for their own issues. Okay. Then you have some lies here. Maybe some of you are divorcing, you're running, you're leaving. Maybe there's abundance somewhere else. Or you're just divorcing and leaving because where you are, it, it's lies mental issues okay let's see what's going on here um so we're gonna do one spread for love and then one for career and finance if in one spread we get career and finance and love then that's what it is okay so let's see what can you tell gemini for this week march 16th okay four of cups and the hangman so some of you are contemplating change of journey home you're bored you're discontent with this um you feel like an offer came too little too late um you don't see the possibilities but the, it, something is asking you to see the possibilities in a connection <laughs> excuse me Woo. um in a connection and someone wants you to look at something from a different perspective See the cup half full versus half empty. Optimism. T the change of perspective that allows you to get what you want in a particular situation here. Or that's what somebody else is trying to do in with you or about you or about something that you're in. I don't know. Let's see. Could be dealing with the Piscean person. Some of you are contemplating divorce. Um, you just. I'm hearing you letting somebody hang themselves. Um, the final straw. The. Um, yeah, the final straw. You're letting somebody hang themselves. And, and so you can have all of the. You know, all of the, uh, I don't want to say evidence, but maybe all of the reason to go ahead with um, making some decision about family, about a home, about children. If you're a mother, we have mom coming out. You, yeah. Queen of Wands here. Um, this could be you, Gemini. You, you, you're trying to expand yourself. Um, expand your horizons you could have your own business you could be that very busy mother taking the kids to practice picking them up going to work making dinner cleaning up the house just really all over the place 
um, but in a good way um somebody's not helping you something no help yeah nine of swords you're tired you're extremely exhausted you're extremely exhausted um someone doesn't help you around the home somebody is not not ever home or they're not home a lot um You feel like this is the end. This is the beginning of the ending. Yeah, two of swords. You're at a, a stalemate, not making a decision, but knowing that you need to make one. You're trying to put, you're trying to make the head over heart decision. Like, okay, where's my my heart says something different. My head says something different. Not in alignment at all. It says that rest in meditation and prayer. Speak with those trusted individual someone who can shed light wisdom in regards to this this home you're not happy but you're you're trying to put on a happy front your ten of cups you're not happy somebody else isn't happy six of swords at the bottom of the deck feeling like the drama the discord the disdain the the confusion is too much and you you just need a vacation you need to leave it could be i'm hearing a temporary leave like just needing time what's the best advice for gemini here six of cups and nine of swords the memories, the past, the love, the likeness, the the need to be needed, being fulfilled within a dynamic where somebody is older and young or younger keeps you tied to a situation. And children keep you tied here too, to a situation that um you feel like you need to leave. You feel like is ending. You're not even getting adequate rest. Somebody, something or someone is keeping you up at night. You stay because of the small things, the good things, the small things that they do. You know that this, you need to be more concerned about your health also here. You know that this is not healthy for you um, mentally, emotionally. Hmm. Gemini. Interesting. Yeah, here is you, magician. But you, you have an idea of what you want to do. It's just about bringing it into the 3D, into the real world, into fruition. One more. What's the advice for Gemini? You can't stay stuck on old things and letting the past keep you stuck. Six of Wands and the Knight of Swords. You might have to put yourself first. What is healthy for you? What promotes better health, fitness? What fits in your life right now for you? It might have something to do with your career. You might be given a two weeks notice. Some of you less than two weeks. Some of you might be speaking some truth in regards to your career, in regards to an air sign, in regards to someone you... You have created solutions to an issue that that includes you and others, but somebody's not listening. Somebody's in a marriage where they do everything. For the household, the children, they do everything. They're tired dreadfully tired like very tired and then I think the partner is there's a bit of deceit there's some lies here they could also be moving money not only sneaking out on the marriage the relationship but also moving money is what I'm hearing Let's, um what am I doing I have angel answer cards <laughs> this 
energy just took me to another place. I was just like, you know what? Not today. I think you're going to get success and you're going to have help in your business once you speak your truth. You've been doing something. You've been, you have an idea of how things should be run. And, um, so people don't want to admit it to you or say it to you, but they value you. And, um, I think once you, you confront a situation head on, either at work or home, you get a turnaround. You guys are doing everything. Um, you take it on a lot. It's going to bring you a lot of abundance here. Very valuable. Very high value person in, in career, in business. You're getting a lot of recognition because you took on a lot and you did a lot. Um, it says that you're right where you're supposed to be, even though you feel like changing, shifting course. What's the angel answer cards that you have for Gemini? Forgiveness, yeah. Hmm. I feel like that's more so for yourself, too. You have a yes answer, okay? We clarify our yes and no answers here, so we'll clarify that. Romance. Very nice. Opportunity. Some of you may be giving up two weeks notice. One more. Meditation brings answers. Okay. Get more information. Definitely. So let's clarify our yes and no answers. Well, our yes answer. What's this yes answer for Gemini? We got romance. Ooh. I wish I was a Gemini. I have. I don't think I have Gemini in my chart anymore. Um, Gemini, Gemini. What's this romance for? No. What's this yes answer for Gemini? The yes answer for Gemini. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing us with true, accurate answers for Gemini. Four of Cups again. Yes. You're bored. You're gonna have a change of journey. Something is unfulfilling here. This is with you or the other person. Ace of Pentacles. Very nice. You might get a new job, a new home. Just a new beginning altogether. Ooh, something that it brings in a lot of abundance and it marries you on a soul level. Like you feel like you were made for it. You were meant to do this. It comes in right in the nick of time. Perfect timing here for that. Um, you may have to compromise something in order to allow that to come in. I don't know. Six of Swords again. Yeah, you may be moving. Moving to a new home. A new position. A new relationship. Hmm. Well, Gemini, it looks like... And you did have the abundance shell. So, it looks like when you come out of something else or, or this... So... This story could be that some of you just have opportunity elsewhere and it's going to be very abundant for you. Some of you are coming out of a situation where there is no abundance. There is strife. There is discord. There is just, you're just not happy. Um, and you may be deciding to divorce yourself from that particular relationship or job or whatever. Um... Or that could be both of your stories, but it, one or the other. I don't know. I, I don't know your life. I don't. I would like to. If you feel like this reading resonated with you, go over to the website. Book your own personal reading there. Take advantage of the coupon codes below. Also, if you feel like you just have a question or two, you can text the number below. Text your question to the number below. You can pay for your question and receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage and that um thank you gemini stay safe uh, many blessings to you